Not the tower news today. Uh, this is the Fox News. We've had to send the tower home this morning. Uh, he came in, but I have to tell you, he was like death warmed up. So the, t- the tower is no more today. Hopefully he'll be back with us on Friday and uh, back in the swing of things. Um, the big news, obviously, is the Irish Open. Uh, lads were over there. I was actually over myself for a couple of days. Fabulous event, I have to tell you. Uh, if you're going to play poker in Europe, um, this is without any shadow of a doubt, one of the best events. It was a tremendous weekend, typical Irish hospitality, held in the City West, um, Hotel Dublin, fabulous venue. Um, if you've watched any of this stuff and not, you'll see the, 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 the quality of the place. It was phenomenal. <coughs> tremendous field of runners, including, uh, as you're aware, Doyle Brunson. Unfortunately, we didn't get the interview. Um, we had a number of conversations with him. He was happy to do the interview. And uh, we basically organised it for the Monday, and because he got knocked out, he decided to go home. So we missed oil, but don't worry about that. We will catch up with him. Um, absolute gentleman. Uh, couldn't have been more helpful. Um, I s- watched him uh, sign uh, copies of uh, Super System 2. Him and his son, Todd Brunson, sat at a desk for two and three quarter hours and signed autographed copies of the book and gave them away, every one of them. And there was an endless queue of people. It was a phenomenal uh, uh, bit of of marketing on his part, but he gave away every copy signed by him and by Todd. Fabulous. Um, So big thanks to Doyle for that. The main event itself, 665 runners, 3 million euros. there was a shortfall, and Paddy Power stepped up to the plate. They guaranteed three million, and at the end of the day, they had to cough up two hundred thousand euros um, to make the prize up to three million. Uh, they actually, for some reason that I think they quite worked out, uh, added another one thousand four hundred euros. So the prize pool ended up at three million one hundred thousand one thousand four hundred euros. I don't, I don't know why, but there you go. Neil Channing won it. A uh, tremendous result uh, for Neil. Uh, he's been knocking on the door. Uh, this is a, a, a major, well-deserved win for, for Neil. Delighted to see it. We had three Englishmen in the last six. Um, we had Tom Dunwoody, uh, who came third, 220,000 euros. Tremendous. Uh, no, he got 275,000 euros, sorry, Tom. And Tim Blake, uh, another uh, regular on the poker scene. Um, got fourth uh, and pocketed 220,000 euros. So, I mean, uh, the chunk of money came back to, to the UK out of the event. Uh, Donald Norton was second, got heads up with uh, Neil. Tremendous uh, heads up. Didn't last very long, as you would expect with Neil. And then uh, Neil came out the winner. Went in, chip leader. Tremendous. Uh, never lost his chip lead. Uh, I won't say he was never under threat. He had some luck. Uh, got hit uh, when... Uh, Tom Dunwoody moved all in with his eight. Neil called him with his seven. And Neil caught a seven on the river. It's never happened before, has it? Uh, but overall, tremendous effort. Uh, tremendous result for Neil. Congratulations to him. And uh, we will definitely be back next year. Paddy Power, tremendous host of the event. Uh, couldn't have been more supportive of the media. Um, they put on a tremendous event, as always, uh, I have to say. They had all sorts of things going on. They had entertainment going on. They had bucking broncos. They had music. Um, they couldn't have been more helpful. Um, and all credit to them. Uh, they put on, yet again, another exceptional event. And I really do look forward to next year. Uh, and if you're going to play a major event, Europe, get over to the Irish Open in Dublin. Tremendous. Um, over here, while all that was going on, um, last night... Uh, we had the last chance saloon for seven seats for uh, the Virgin Festival uh, at Asper's 12th, 13th of April. Uh, I'm delighted to say that we two people managed to secure seats from AWOP, and those were uh, David Jim Henson Stevenson, uh, known as Jim Henson and AWOP, and Poison, uh, both secured seats. Tremendous, well done, guys. Look forward to seeing you in Newcastle. Um, 
Obviously, it was Easter weekend. Uh, there was a lot going on. We had a special at the G in Manchester. £250 no limit Texas Hold'em freeze out. Uh, that attracted 72 runners and uh, was run by uh, was won by Phil Benton, who's known as Aqua Boy on the website from Liverpool, and he got just short at 7,000. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, a couple of Blackpool regulars, Mick Fletcher and uh, uh, came second, and uh, Gary Chatterton got fifth. Uh, so again, good stuff. Uh, a couple of Liverpool lads were in the mix as well. Um, Andy Booth, the Lash, on the website, and uh, Jimmy Morgan, also on the money. Well done, guys. Good stuff. Um, and then we're going to pop over to uh, the uh, Sheffield event, the Spring Festival over at uh, Napoleon's in Sheffield. We unfortunately don't have um, the main result yet, which is a bit of a disappointment. We've uh, contacted the casino today, but unfortunately uh, there's nobody there that can help us. So we're still waiting on the result of uh, and the detail of the main event, the 500. But the 100 was won by uh, Harry Markham, EFC. EFC fan on the website. Well done, Harry. Tremendous stuff. And uh, Harry got uh, 4,100 for winning the 100. And the 300 was won by Dave Lama, uh, another local over there. Uh, well done, Dave. Good stuff. And uh, he won over 3,000 quid uh, on the 300. As soon as we get details of the main event at Sheffield, we'll let you know. Uh, there was quite a lot going on at Easter. Uh, with uh, uh, a £70 no-limit freeze-out down at the Stoke Circus, uh, Stan, uh, uh, Stanley's Casino down there. Um, and that ended up in a three-way chop. Lewis Martin uh, getting the, the sharp end of that. And uh, Lewis took, on, took home 1400 quid. Well done, Lewis. Good stuff. And then uh, down at the Equal Chance in London... Um, they had a £50 no-limit Texas freeze-out on the Sunday afternoon with £500 Addy. Now, here's a strange one for you. There were only 40 runners for it. Uh, and that was won by... I don't know if I'm going to get this pronunciation right, but I'll try. T. Shitani. S-H-I-E-T-T-A-N-I. Shitani, I think it is. Um, and he got 900 quid for his efforts. But the £500 Addy in the afternoon, and at night, they had another £50 freeze-out and they got 87 runners. So there's only 40 runners in the afternoon with £500 added, and then at night, nothing added, but they got 87 runners. We're strange characters as poker players, aren't we? Uh, weird bunch of people. Anyway, next week, uh, coming up, sorry, this week, later this week, not next week, coming up later this week, we'll get the Genting Stanley National Poker Championships. Um, now, they're being held in three venues throughout the UK. Uh, that's Manchester, Nottingham and Southend. Uh, and as I mentioned in another special feature that I've done for, uh, for Vision Poker, we've got um, Shades 11, Peter Hathaway's playing uh, this event uh, down in Southend. So good luck to Peter. Um, they actually start tonight, the, the festival starts tonight with a, a £100 freeze out, uh, which starts at 7pm uh, tonight. And then the main event, £500 uh, no limit freeze out, uh, starts tomorrow uh, and is Thursday, Friday, Saturday and I think the finals on Sunday. Don't quote me on that. But there's two day one A's in each of the venues. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Personally, I find it quite strange that they've had three major events all in the same day. It would seem a bit of a contradiction, but who am I? Let's wait and see what happens. Let's see what the numbers are like. Um, I know that there's a few going over from Blackpool that, uh, that qualified uh, through the circus in Blackpool. I think there's six, five or six in total going over, so that should be interesting. Um, so we'll bring you up to speed in terms of the Genting Stanley Poker Championships next week. Um, now, there's also this weekend, there's a two, the 200 freeze out at the Blackpool G. Uh, that's on Saturday afternoon, kicks off at 3 o'clock again. Uh, be interesting to see. We'd think we just over 60 runners, 62, 63 runners last month. Um, hopefully, it'll do better this month. It's a great event. I personally think it's fabulous. Saturday afternoon, three o'clock, great start. One day event, 200 pound freeze out. Do you hear the aeroplane go past? <laughs> um, and there's also a freeze out, another 200 pound freeze out up at uh, Grosvenor Newcastle, um, which again, uh, hopefully, will be well supported. So that's everything for, uh, for the Fox News this week. Uh, hopefully the tour will be feeling better come Friday and we'll be back to normal. 
So hopefully Tower will be back with you on Friday. If he's not back, you'll have to put up with me again. So what can I say? See you later.